Hello everybody, today I was going to share with you project what I came up uh, without any YouTube videos, so pretty much starting to make something on my own. Uh, for that I try not to throw away any packages and if I have something like that I would just save it just in case and usually it reminds me of something uh, like I run into these packages and I see that reminds me of some kind of item. In this case, I saw this box from the uh, that music light and uh, I decided to make a clock out of it. So I also had a lots of Tim Holtz um, product that I barely ever used, like this gorgeous paper. Uh, What's the name of this paper? Uh, okay, uh, some kind of gears, metal gears, and it's all relating to a time. So I got this plastic package and I covered all the corners with gesso and then I painted it with this crackle paint. Ranger crackle paint I'm out of focus okay so this came out pretty good because you can see cracks here and there it's crackled pretty well and also I got I cut out this out of Tim Holtz paper this clock and I added uh, the form to it which I saved to after leftovers boxes <laughs> and uh, my boyfriend calls me a hoarder because I do, I collect everything around the house, but he had to admit that it's, um, how to say, it comes handy. So this is covered with the uh, glossy accent. I mean, not glossy, but crackle accents, which is done by Ranger too. I think it came out pretty good. And also I ordered online this clock. I mean, this is uh, that was like uh, from Chinese, and uh, all you need to do is add the battery. And when you make your own design in anything, uh, you can just, you know, for example, place it like that on the design part, add the uh, arrows to it, and here that would be a very nice clock. So it's like all in pro It's actually gonna go in, but. Um, clock part is going to go out just like that okay so this instrument package came very handy I was able to cut out this all this round part and make pretty nice uh, holder holding box how you call this that the clock actually wouldn't uh, go away go anywhere when you put it in there in the inside the box so I'm planning it as a vintage kind of style and for that I'm using this wonderful paper let me see the name of it it's pretty, very pretty oh it's called our family tree I don't know who actually makes it but it's really beautiful paper for vintage um, projects so this is going to be in the front this is going to be in the back of this box I don't know yet where that's going to be so I love that I love that paper and I used distress ink to uh, go around the edges of course that it wouldn't look like very nice and vintage on that box so it's pretty much like a standing clock. And also I use this wonderful paper uh, by Quick Quotes. So I love the saying, it's all about time, right? So I'm using the time pieces and I'm planning somewhere around here. I don't know where I can place it, but somewhere. I love the sentence about uh, who forces time is pushed back by time, who yelled to time, finds time on his side. 
which is pretty true very nice and this piece and very, very nice and I use this uh, corner rounder by Wear Memory Keepers love this tool it's absolutely great tool and maybe I'll use some of that for mini albums I don't know yet it's all in progress guys and um, I'll keep you updated thank you so much for watching bye